Like I said, depending on how you look at it, obviously uh, Nathaniel Hackett he got hired as the OC with the Jets today. Uh, so all of it went back that, to back. Cause... Yeah, all of it. It was like Frank Wright head coach. You uh, see what they're doing. You know what I mean? So it's like, what you mean? They're hiring up Rodgers, man. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely on that because they said that was it the Jets and it's another team. I forgot who they listed. Titans they, are one yeah, of them for sure. That they were saying were like some of the like favorite locations potentially for Aaron Rodgers. So that would definitely make sense. But that's what Denver did. Denver says Denver did it as the head coach. The Jets are doing it the smart way, putting him as OC. And it seems like Rodgers is weirdly yeah. open to it right now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard anything from his interviews with McAfee. He was just like, if they're looking to trade me, so be it. Yeah. Sounds like he's done. And you know what? What what is the deal with Rodgers, man? You know, I'm I'm a fan of him. I think he's a really good quarterback. He takes this fifty million dollar contract from the Packers, and he's like, "Okay, trade me." This is like some NBA shit right here. Take a huge deal somewhere, and then I'm unhappy. Trade me somewhere else. It's not it's not as good as I want it to be here in Green Bay. I wonder why you took a fifty million dollar contract. Maybe that's just the Aaron Rodgers, man. I don't know him personally, so I can't speak on it. But it does look just like, yeah, I'm with you. Like You really about the like, winning wow. like that that much? Like, seriously, yeah. I'm sure you are to an extent, but then just taking the $50 million. Right. Dollars. Now, you're worth it compared to what the uh-huh. other quarterbacks were getting at the time when you're talking about market. But, but geez, once again, dude. and then for you to just the year after, like, all right, man, if you want to move with on, being I'm good. Traded. It's like, Devontae would still be here if, if it wasn't for you tripping out like you've been tripping. You know what I mean? Like, the season is and it goes back to, oh, do I want to play? Do I not want to play? Let me think about it. All right. If they want to trade me, they can trade me. I'm cool with it either way. So, they like say, I don't know the man like that. So, yeah. He's just. Yeah. He can't do the Jets, right? What you mean? Exact Favre path. <laughs> Says Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Rodgers we talk about man I I, 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 I thought he was just going to end his career with Green Bay I'm actually bummed in a way I, I feel like that's how it because should be because you just, want just your heroes finish, to stay where they supposed to be just and I'm finishing like, Green Bay you want them to stay there for the legacy part and I'm like bro they don't care about that I don't think he cares about it at all I think he's willing to go wherever man and that's the weird part though because he should feel like what you say Kind of like when we talked about seven, it's like could Kevin can seven go play somewhere else? Yes, but it's just like yo, it doesn't feel like he's gonna really want to do that. I don't think he would try that. Brady, he don't care. He'll bounce. He'll, all right, man. I'm all right. Next team, let's go. Well, I think what worked with Brady though, he spent three years there, mm-hmm. and he played like really, really he good. Has, he got so a if ring anything, there. that just boosts his legacy, yeah. right? He when got you, a ring there. Ring there, it changes the whole dynamic. Philip Rivers going from the Chargers to the Colts for one year. Yeah. Don't do it. do it. Matt Ryan, yep. Falcons to the Colts. Mm-hmm. It's just not worth it. Yeah, it's but, not worth it long but term. If they would have won a ring there, it would have been. In both of those I scenarios, know this is the tough. It's the tough thing right? for I both of you. those quarterbacks too. When they went to Indy, it looked like they were just a quarterback away. Whether you're talking with Rivers or even this year with Matt Ryan, it was like, yo, they have everything in place. But both years, crazy stuff happens. This year, I thought it was a lot of the injury stuff that really affected them, and then from there, we knew the whole head coaching situation. Last year. The quarterback play was up and down, and we saw how that kind of reflected at the end of the season for them dudes. But, yeah, it's just I – I agree with you. It made it's, sense for those guys at the time. It's it's hard even, to do. Even Carson Wentz, to an extent, it made sense to go to Indy. Right. Because at the time, their roster, you got the dome. Everything said, yes, Indy is, is going to be this. Well, he's still in the middle of his career, but you get yeah. what I'm saying with, but like with those Matt two Ryan and Philip Rivers. Yeah. They probably don't think they're done. Yeah. And Philip Rivers actually kind of played good with the Colts. Yeah. To me, though, now, granted, they're not aging the way that Brady is aged, but I do feel like Brady's situation helped him out. It helped him age these past three years. Whereas you look at the Indy situation, them things, they look good on paper, but they fell through. And I feel like it really showed the age on those quarterbacks when they're forced to do things that they're not accustomed to doing. When you talk about Brady, he's not a guy that's going to just create by his legs in the pocket. No, he wins with time. He wins with you not outsmart him with protection and things like that. You think Matt Ryan, similar conversation. You think Phillip Rivers, similar conversation. So you go to Indy thinking, man, we got this old line. It's going to be dope. And then you get there and it's like, wait a minute. This isn't what we... This isn't how it's supposed to be acting right now. And now you get these quarterbacks that are older kind of getting exposed. And now 
you just expedite their exit. Whereas realistically, could they have probably got another year somewhere else if the situation was smooth for them? Yeah. But when you see them in that type of setting and it looks to that extent, it's just hard to justify giving those dudes other opportunities. And that's ultimately why they end up going ahead and retiring after that, man. It's unfortunate, though, man. I could see the Packers being ready to move on to Jordan Love. You think it makes sense, though? I'd still stick with Rodgers. But even I, think with that they're, I think that they're looking off of Jordan Love's game from last year. Didn't he come in he against did, he the high. Eagles? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he looked pretty good. I, I feel like they're looking yeah. at that, and they're ready to move off the Rodgers cap hit, just yeah. that whole saga, and try to write everything their own in a way. Like, hey, yeah. let me put my stamp on this. We don't have to deal with Aaron Rodgers anymore. Yeah. I could see them wanting to do that. Not saying it's right or wrong. Actually, I feel like it's wrong. I think think you stick with Rodgers. See, I'm back and forth on it. I think you stick with Rodgers if you're really trying to make another run at it. But if I don't feel like we're legitimately there, I'm like, man, I'm tired of this nonsense, bro. Ship him out. Get what I can get for him. We're going to see what we got in Jordan Love. I think he has, what, two build, years left on that Build a team deal? around him on yeah, that. Yeah, he got two years deal. left. If it doesn't work out, all right, we know we hard, hard resetting it. But that's why I'm, like, back and forth with it because I'm listening to just – it just seems like nonchalant. I'm like, bro, give me something like that you are like in it, in it like that. And they like said, I don't know. So I don't know. Maybe that is how he showed that he's in it, in it. But you just want a little bit more conviction. And at this stage, it's like, all right, I'm not getting that. We got questionable play, whether we talking the receivers or we talking him specifically. But either way, it was not what we thought we were getting. So it's like, if I'm not getting what I'm thinking, I'm getting, I'm spending a ton of money anyways. And you're like hot and cold with, do you want to be here? Do you not want to be here? Let's just go ahead and move on, man. Right, wrong, and different. So that's why I can see it either way with that thing, man.